Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Raw Raleigh Awakening. Well, I grew up in a very um, strict Greek family, so being an artist kind of was not an option. Um, so in high school I took art class and always thought that I'd like it and that, that this was something that I wanted to do, but when I was in college I was definitely veered into a different direction. I think I was a psych major my first two years and um, I was really unhappy and I knew that I was supposed to be creating something. I didn't know what it was at first, but then I remember I told my dad, I just pulled him aside and I said, this is gonna sound weird, but I think I need to buy a camera. And he was so confused, he was like, why? And I was like, I think I'd be good at it. I think I'm good. I'd be good at taking pictures. And I started laughing, and I remember just thinking like, no, I have to do this. I, I, I had this feeling in my body like, this is what I'm supposed to do. I bought my first camera and haven't looked back since then. I don't really have a process, which I think is the funny part. I like to dabble in different things. I, I don't just do straight photography. I really coincide photography with my painting as well. I think both go hand to hand. So my creative process is basically all like kind of internal, emotional. You know, like I photograph things that make me, that have an emotional connection to me. And when I paint, I usually pick up my paints and canvas on days where I just not, you know, just not feeling, not feeling it. And it always kind of gets me out of that funk. So it's kind of funny when I see my, my work up because it's like a walk down kind of memory lane. It's like, oh, I remember I felt like crap that day. <laughs> Look what happened. So my process is definitely totally internal, emotional, like just what's, what's going on in my brain that day is kind of what I try to Honestly, I just want to keep having these adventures. Like I find like when my art, I think is totally fueled by the need for me to like get out there and do things I haven't done before. So my goal is to keep doing that, to keep going to places I haven't been and meeting people who I've never met before. I think that is the drive of the whole journey. Like, there's a beginning to this journey, but the thing about what we do as a collective is that there is no end. Like, you literally push as far as you want to take it, which is, I mean, how do you not want to be a part of that? You can get more information about me and my work at rawartist.org slash Zaharula. I'm Zaharula, and I am a raw artist.